Scuttle puddle. True. Everybody's going for it. We got scuttle, scuttle, puddle, puddle. Scuttle, scuttle, puddle, puddle. Which means go for an early reroll comp, I have found. I found that it's it's either really good for fast nine or it's really good for early reroll. Just because like you can build up and max out your recon very, very early. So probably gonna be going for uh for Kogma reroll this game. Unless I can't get the items. Thank you for the Kogma. Kogma or Kha'Zix, like Kha'Zix could work too. Like I feel like is Cho confused? Yeah, a little bit. Could also hold the Fadeds, I guess. Hopefully we hit some good stuff for Kog'Maw. I wouldn't be opposed to going the Burst Kog'Maw uh, build. I like going the healing Kog'Maw build, but I feel like the I, f I feel like burst isn't bad either. There's Nashers and maybe Gauntlet. I mean, we want the sniper, right? How much money can we make from this? That's four. We need to sell four, so then we sell these, and then we'll hold the Fadeds just in case that's what we find. Is it bad to roll down your gold at level two? Yes. Yes, very bad. Very bad. It just, it destroys your early game. Enter the dragon, healing orbs, and cyberbulk. It's not enter the dragon. Pumping up's pretty good, actually. Mythic crest. Let's see if anybody's going to be contesting me. I don't think anybody's contesting me. And an eco. That's pretty good. Any behemoths? Yes, we do. We do have a behemoth. We could run that for the moment. Now that's the this is the big issue here. I don't actually have any of his full items yet. I don't have any of his full items yet. This is actually gonna be Mythic Caitlyn at some point. This guy actually went into the dragon. But the Mythic Caitlyn isn't, like, super important early. Yeah. Alright, so let me actually look up his, his best in slot. Units, Kog'Maw, Item Trio, Placement. Nasher's Nasher's blue buff has the best placement? That's crazy. Gunblade Nasher's Manazane actually has the best. Aegis, probably? Yeah, we'll go Aegis. Aegis is always a, is, is always a strong idea. Alright, so since it's a matter of econ here, I'm going to get rid of this guy now. We'll just do this. Never level on, on this reroll comp. Never, never, never. I had a Heavenly Caitlyn in a game, and it was pretty funny, the Omnivamp. I believe it. I don't think it's, like, crazy. But I could see it. I could see it. Come on, Caitlyn. There you go. Maybe one more? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Still lose, though, yeah? Nice. Nice. Zero unit loss. We love that. absolutely perfect loss and we're actually we're we're getting pretty close to the cogma too we already have four of them naturally
big strong Nico coming through. Aphelios is exalted, but he doesn't really fit as well into this comp. You want to go Malphite, Cho'Gath, Kog'Maw, Caitlyn, Nico. Um, then just splash more Mythics. Who's the ghostly you go with, Caitlyn? Or do you not go? I don't think you actually go any any good. Oh, you go Alawi. That's who it is. Alawi gets uh, Arcanist and Warden in. Yeah. Oof. Oh no. Okay, one unit. One unit killed. Yeah, then we go Alawi. That's the final comp. I'll hold on to like Tom Kench in the in the build as well, but we're not going to need him. All right, so blue buff is the best thing. Blue buff is the best thing. Damn it. We go crit, I guess. Yeah, we can go crit. Another one of these, nice. Naturaled into another Kog'Maw. If we have a good enough front line, like, we don't necessarily need the, uh, the healing. This song's kind of busy. Let's hope, for, let's hope for an early Huey. True. I mean, that just, that just solves everything. We can hold this just in case we need something for level 5. Bro, why am I a 4 streak with Metabolic? FF? It's your fault, man. You're playing a strong early game. Deathblade, Deathcap, these last for three rounds. Okay, well, I'm actually, I'm not going to place it right now. I'm actually not going to place it yet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I lose this one by doing something like this. He's selling board. Oh shit. I really hope I don't fight him. I'm not fighting him. Cool. Alright. Neat. He tried his best. Okay, cool. We'll sell the we'll sell the the Soraka. Oh, nice! Another mythic. We love that. Then we can actually play a uh, mythic five here, or we could actually just play the Malphite. It's probably gonna be mythic five though, if I had to guess. Heavenly Behemoth. Heavenly Behemoth might be worth... No, it's definitely Mythic 5. Mythic 5 is, is way more worth right now. Shoujin's not bad. It's just not really what you want. I could go blue buff, but I, I need the attack speed, really.
What the hell? Bro! How fucking cursed is this state? What is this? That's gross. That's gross. That's so gross. Oh, man. Everything must go? At this point, no. Sniper Crest? Lucky Streak? It's not Sniper Crest. Keepers. Probably slam it at this point. There's my Caitlyn. Alright, and then there's those two. Oh my god! Jesus. That took forever. Alright, so let's go Shoujin. Wait. I mean, we're going slamming, right? So, is Shoujin that bad? Shoujin's pretty bad on him, actually. Blue buff is always infinitely no better. Alright, so let's do... Let's do Gunblade. We'll slam this, and then we'll do this here, and we'll do this here. Alright, then we'll be slamming. It's not out of nowhere, I only needed one more. Still a 45% chance, but... I needed a hyper roll down there. I was just so close to Kog'Maw and I didn't hit. <laughs> I would have stopped if I had actually hit Kog'Maw, so maybe it was a high roll. Maybe it was a high roll. But this, this, uh, this Cho'Gath is gonna be insane at this point. Gonna be absurd. Honestly, I might hold a Malphite. I might hold a Malphite on my bench if I find it. But you can't tell me that roll down wasn't pretty cracked though. Like that was that was a, I feel like that was a pretty well executed roll down. Now I just need a blue buff. Roll down itself wasn't bad until you didn't, until you did your last roll and all of a sudden hit three of them. Yeah. Roll down itself was bad. No. No, it was it was good. It was good. We need that Lilia. That Lilia would be so good for us. Oh my god, that would be perfect. Don't take my Lilia. Don't take my Lilia. Take the spatula. I don't care about the spatula. Wait, I kind of care about the spatula though, but I don't really because I already have the mythic emblem. Really? How is this going uncontested this long? <laughs> what? In this meta? That's crazy. But we did get our, uh, our our Invoker Mythic. That's nuts. That's nuts. Five Mythic. Invoker 2. Lilia is amazing here. The best unit I could have found on the carousel. Like, the fact that I don't have the attack speed... Well, I have attack speed with, with uh, Aegis, so that's not bad, actually. Yeah, that's not bad. It's actually it's actually pretty good. Now I need, like, a redemption for my, for my Cho'Gath.
Okay, so we'll hold this Malphite. Just so we can put this uh, cloak back on Cho'Gath eventually. Because, just so you, um, you're aware, slamming does not work if you have those items on your bench. Like, on your champion bench, either. You might actually go above Emerald 4-0 LP this game. Thanks, Tanky. Thanks, Tanky. I mean, when they're low-cost rerolls, I feel like I can hit pretty, pretty well, just because... I'm gonna sound, I'm gonna sound like a loser here, but because bag sizes... No, it's definitely not just because of bag sizes. It kind of is. Like, if you're getting contested, it is. You're here to support me? Thank you. Thank you. But we're getting some good XP now. So, well, we should be able to hit uh, level 9 this game, I think. Even though we rolled down and we're going to get some we're going to get some some items here too. But we're going to need to slam those items, whatever it is. If it's AP, we put it on Lilia. If it's AD, we put it on Caitlyn. If it's tank, we put it on Cho'Gath. We need some burn, so like a red buff would be okay for for Lilia. Red buff's better on Lilia than it is on on Caitlyn. Especially since we could always just remake her. Uh, TG isn't bad. TG's not bad. Declaw, okay. Uh, we don't want to... Yeah, we don't want to sell the bard, actually. Alright, so... We could do... Sunfire? Declaw on Cho'Gath. Sunfire, Declaw, and then we could do a TG. Yeah, so we'll do Sunfire... T Sunfire... Declaw... TG over here, and then we'll just put a random um, bow over here. Actually, probably better on Lilia. Well, now we'll put it on Caitlyn. We'll put it on Caitlyn. Give her a little bit of love. And now we're just uh, funneling our, our uh, money into levels. Boop. This guy did not go for uh, green, blue, blue. So he's actually going to have a lot of issues with my uh, with my Cho'Gath here. Yeah, that's why I like green, blue, blue more. Heavenly Crest, Mana Shield, or Jeweled Lotus. Heavenly Crest ain't bad. Get some extra Omni Vamp. Little buddies. Actually, oh god, I'm so stupid. Mana Shield would have been good for, for Kog'Maw. Little Buddies isn't good, though. It's the Heavenly Caitlyn. I mean, it is a good amount of... It is a good about, uh, amount of Omnivamp. Oh, they did buff it! You're right, they did buff it. So, if I put that on a 3... On a 3-star champion, what does that do for me? 9%? 9%, and then it's... Yeah, that's 10% Omnivamp. That's just good. That's just good. That's just good. Plus Mythic. Yeah. <laughs> Boop. Enter the Dragon here was uh, a little rough on my front line. But as long as I find another mythic, I can go seven and then we just we just curb stomp everybody. Two lesser dupes or one dupe. Probably a just a probably just a dupe. I mean I could go for Nico. You know what? Actually that seems like a good play. Go for the lesser dupes and then get the then get the Nico. Then get Nico three later. Yeah. That seems fine.
Worth. Super worth. Okay. Mythic seven. Yeah, I'm at zero gold, but I feel like I'm okay because we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a, a big scuttle over here later. Mythic seven should just be enough to really carry me through most of these fights. I need a shiv, actually. I need another tier for my for my Caitlyn. Yeah, that's that's the thing that I absolutely need here. If I can get a tier. It's on set. Fat chance of that. I've already got, I've already got burn from Sunfire. Caitlyn one shot in the back line, so satisfying. True. True facts. Am I gonna I'm not gonna get that tier. No siri. No siri, no sirrah. Oh wait. <laughs> Loser. Loser. Got him. Terra DFD has a god at teamfight tactics. He should do us all a favor, keep playing and ignore the haters. True! Big facts, big facts, big facts. Yeah, so now we need an Alawi. We're not gonna play the set, we're gonna play Alawi. Like stealing candy from a baby? True, he was a baby. That shred is going to be so big for my team, though. It's going to be massive for my team. This Morgana is a little bit rough, though. Does Rakan stun? No. She didn't one-shot the Morgana. That's insane. Am I okay here? I have burn, so maybe. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm good here. I'm good. I have enough healing. Nice. Sick. All right, what we got? Oh, that's a oh my god, that's a lot. Sorry, I was I was messaging a, a thingy, a, a dude. Yeah, Lowie's still going on my team at level nine. That's a lot of components. That's a lot, a lot of components. Um, I mean, at this point, like, we just push, right? We just push because we want as strong of a team as possible. Uh, go for. Just tank items. Sure. All 
All right, cool. Yeah, I mean the ghostly arcanist is uh, is is a really good buff because then we get some extra, we get some extra um, AP as well, extra AP, extra damage amp. All good things, all good things. Reason that I just wanted to go is because like there there's nothing else to really totally re really roll for. Thought TG would be good there. Maybe. Was kind of thinking in the moment. Just in the moment, it was a little bit rough, a little bit hard to do. I was trying to make use of my bow as well. Like, I, I was trying to find something good for my bow. I guess Titans is, like, the best I could have done there. Honestly. TG wouldn't have been bad, though. I just want to find a way. If I can find a way, then I can get rid of this bard. I could start three-starring my Nico. The CC from the Nautilus, though, now that he's a bit tankier, is really good. Boop. Thank you, Caitlin. That's so funny. Caitlin goes and... Boop. That actually... Oh, it's just because he had Spirit Walker. That's why he didn't really take damage. Do I kill this guy? 14 damage, maybe? <laughs> nice. Just enough. That's awesome. Seven Story Weaver, Blue Kale. He does not have a Shiv. He also does not have a Spark. He does have Sunder with that, but almost 10k damage on Kogma. Oh my god. Uh oh. Enter the dragon is, uh... Is Enter the dragon, uh, crazy? Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, two star Zaya will do that. That makes sense. Maybe somebody will kill him. Maybe somebody. Now we need to find something for our Nautilus. We could do Morello. Never mind. Sterix. Even Shroud, maybe? I mean, we bound, we're we bound to do a little bit of, um, of physical damage. Alright, let's roll for the Huey. There's Huey. All right, cool. Almost 10, yeah, 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 yeah. If I can three-star my Nico, then that's then that's a pretty decent upgrade too. Just the TG in general with, uh, with some extra HP for my entire team. Uh-oh, this Udyr is ramming my Caitlyn. Oh, but yeah, everybody's about to be on the Udyr, so I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Top four, at least. Should be a top three. Okay, cool. I'm also getting somewhat close to Lilia three, too. Just a naked Lilia three. This guy is going to be fine. This guy, I feel like, is going to be... Oh. Where did that come from? The hell? Well, I mean, all that means is that I'm is that I'm going to be uh is that I'm going to be like top 2 because he's going to murder somebody else. Right? 
Well, maybe. I mean, I'm definitely top three. Because, like, this Enter the Dragon guy is definitely going to die. This guy is definitely going to lose. So maybe it means I'm a top two. Maybe the maybe the, the three-star Wukong is actually just great for me. You know? It actually, it might work in my favor. Because I probably wasn't going to get first against the Enter the Dragon guy. But the Enter the Dragon guy is going to die against the three-star Wukong. So I'm okay with that. A dupe? Okay. Lilia... Another Lilia. Alright, so now I'm four turns away from that, or I can maybe try to find it. Quicksilver, most likely, so that she has the ability to cast. I.E. Yeah, now I'm one away from the three-star Lilia. Okay. Which, I mean, should secure a second place spot, right? Alright, so the Enter the Dragon guy is definitely dying here. Absolutely dying here. Am I okay? Oh my god. Is that Zoe? I guess that was all Zoe, huh? Alright, so can we get the Lilia? There's Lilia. Let me actually, let me get the, let me get the tuber thumbnail real quick. One sec. Oh my god, it's Lilia! Look at that! Oh my god! It's Lilia! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm facing his ghost, okay? So that means he's definitely dealing damage to, to them. So unless I get super unlucky with my roll here... Oh shit, I get really unlucky with my roll here. Yeah, I'm fighting this guy, which means that this guy is actually fighting the, uh, the... my ghost. Which means I'm probably going to lose to him. Because it's a ghost. Okay. Alright. Neat. GG. Third place it is. Matchmaking RNG. Let's see. How's this guy do? Definitely doesn't take... Hey, it's a second! Let's go! Those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow me on Twitch for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye guys. That was, uh, that was interesting. We ended up doing, uh, three-star Lilia into the three-star Wukong. That, that three-star Lilia is the reason that we got second. So I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs>